I'm, I'm, I'm not their boss, but uh, I'm, I'm doing this role, you know. Yes, this is a one another coming with the other question. This is one, one of the biggest challenge that you face in Indonesia with the team. You know, I was telling, oh, bam, bam, about for me, I have to say I have no problem. My people keep motivating because I'm motivated. So if you as a head of the project, you are not motivated, you can motivate your stuff. So I'm the one that I have every single day. I feel like I want to come here. I still really want to uh, feel like I want to serve my people, serve the biggest stake. Uh, uh, I'm carry about, you know, uh, very carefully about the how people get into my restaurant. So I try to give the same motivation to all of my staff, even if they are serving a glass of water or even a coffee. So all those kind of things is like, uh, I have to say, um, me, my wife and Fry, we are the head of this project, is the one who keep motivating our staff. But it happened for, when you have a staff is not motivating, something wrong happened with your head, you know? So I think in every business, is the boss is happy, staff have, you have to be happy. He's the one who have to give you this passion, this, this, you know, if not, yeah, change the head, you know? So it's that easy like this because we are in charge of motivate people, you know? So we have to create menus that keep them motivated, keep learning, keep, you know, every day for them have to be also a challenge that they have to, I don't know, get the better every single day, you know? So if not, please go, it's, everyone is free to go and look for other challenge, you know? So this is one of the things that always say here, the door is open. You know, but if, if especially if it's for good, for for good, well, go ahead. You know, so this is something that uh, always um, I'm in, in in top of the kitchen floor, housekeeping, house bar. You know, because uh, as I say, I am passionate about what I'm doing, so I'm trying to be behind of all of them. You know, we are counting our back office. We are 64 employees. Yeah, we are three floors. We have main area, we have cafe, we have private room, we have a bar. So yes, we need a big team. Even in the kitchen, we are 24 people. Uh, floor and bar, another 20 something. Uh, accounting, uh, purchasing, cost control, human resource, security. You know, so yes, when, when you have one a big restaurant, this is a, more or less the number of stuff you will get, you know. Most of them been working, the, who is the least, probably have more than two, three years. So if you see a person every single day, um, it's, it's, that's what I say, it's something wrong on the head if I, know the if I don't know the name of them, you know. It's a, uh, yes, I share with them many hours here, 10 or 9 hours per day, you know, so even more. So of course I know each of the names here. <laughs> Some of them have nickname and I know the nickname too, you know. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, I, know. I have to say the kitchen, 80% of them been working with me even from my previous job. So with them, I will, some people is working with me already 9 years. So yeah, but then for example, Fly Fry is here for me from the when the beginning we opened together. So we still keep like I have to say 70% of our opening staff. Eh? I think the only the only the only position who rotate the most is the housekeeping and stewards. And you know why? Because we promote them. So we promote them, so we get a new staff. So we train them and they, from the sewer, become our helper for the kitchen. So this is what we do, you know? So because we believe in that we have, uh, as I say, we have our own gelato, we have our own cafeteria, we have all our own, so there is no better training than this one in, in place, you know?